after a prolonged drought is causing havoc in a number of regions in the country. A CGTN crew joined a resident as he moved his animals in search of grazing land. Our reporter, Robert Nagila, in Baringa County, has that report. It's just after sunrise, and William Loturo, a father of four, is beginning his day. As his children head off to school, he walks to the goat pen to release the animals. The Loturo family lives in Tiati constituency, Baringo, one of 11 counties across Kenya, devastated by a prolonged drought. Each morning, he takes them across the hills in search of grazing ground. He's agreed to let us accompany him today. It's a 30-minute walk to a nearby watering point. It was set up by a construction company for locals. We start bringing them here from September. The rains here end in July. After the animals have had their fill, we begin the long trek in search of grass. The ferocity of the drought stares at us. Women digging holes in a riverbed in search of drinking water for their families. The terrain is challenging and constantly changing. The drought has killed many animals as water and grazing ground have become scarce. As yet, no official figures are available. I take the animals every day in search of grass, except Saturdays when there is no school. It's the children's turn. It's just after 9 o'clock. We've been walking for now for about two hours, climbing for about 25 or so odd minutes. Temperatures are rising really, really fast, and it's clearly beginning to have an impact. But for the locals, they seem okay with it. This is something they do every day. Many hardos affected by the drought are now selling off their animals to get money to buy food for their families. But prices have sharply dropped, and instead of the usual $35 for a goat, they now sell for as low as $10. The weatherman has focused long rains in April, but for many people here, that may be too late to save their animals. Bob Nagila, CGTN, Baringo, Kenya.